Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about toilets. Um, we're going to replace the filler valve in this one as it keeps pulsating after it's flushed. Um, so the first thing we want to do is shut off the water back here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, the water is shut off. We're going to remove the tank lid and put it to the side. I need both hands for this, so I'm going to just move it over and get it out of the way. And you want to flush the toilet, which I did. And you're going to flush and hold it open. This way it won't refill. I'm going to try to get as much water out of there as you can. What we're going to do is be replacing this as the filler valve here. This is a Toto toilet. In most other toilets will be a very similar process. Now that we have the water off and the drained, we're going to loosen this. Most toilets will have a cord uh, similar to this that will actually attach up in here. And this is a washlet, so it has a little bit more harder type plumbing on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up so that the filler valve can be lift it out. As you can see, I removed the nut and you can see the uh, stem from the filler sticking through the bottom of the tank. Um, as I was mentioning before, this is what you would normally be removing, this white piece here. Uh, but this is just a bypassing piece here for this uh, tank that's on here. Here's the replacement filler valve. It's a Toto brand. They, they, they do have other generic ones that are by Corky. So I might have paid a little bit extra for this because it has Toto on it, but the other ones are more universal, but they're all made by Corky that I saw at Home Depot. So you can see there's a bunch of different types. So this is all a similar process. Here's the filler valve. In the older toilets, you might have seen an old bubble valve on the on the end here with a little float that would lift up and down and open and close it. This is the newer technology. This one is universal, so it is this part is adjustable. So it'll fit different to styles of tanks. As you can see right here, there's another white plastic nut on there. We're going to remove that next. Um, this is a real tight space for me to get into, so I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to just get my uh, my pliers and pull that off. So I loosen that up with the pipe wrench. And I'm going to just remove that with my fingers. This is some water spilling out of there. So I'll pull that the rest of the way off and dry up the floor. Okay, so I got the nut off. So I'm going to move this tube, it just slides up off. And this will come out. And the rest of the toilet water will go down that hole. I did put a bowl underneath there to catch it. So here's a quick peek of it. You can see the bowl, the orange bowl underneath to catch the excess water. So now it's just a matter of reinstalling the new one. Here's the old filler valve, and here's the new one. You can tell they're very similar. Little differences is this is more of a universal type uh, adjuster on that, whereas this one is built into it. And I'll just tell you how to use that. But one of the things you want to note here is there is a filler line right here for the water level, and that's where you want your water level to come to. So I'm actually going to use this one to align, to measure how far I should extend this other piece out. 
If not, you want to look at if you have a stain or anything like that on a stain line on your tank to show where the old water level was for visual. So what I'm going to do is I have the old one here, put the new one on top of it. I'm going to measure the length of this by that one. I actually want to keep it a little bit short. You can see this one's a little bit shorter than that one because as I twist it, into place, it'll lock into place, it'll actually extend out a little bit. So as I'm twisting this, you can see that it extended out a little bit. So now it should be right in line with that one, which looks like it's right on the money. So when this is fully locked, try to see if you can see the light here. These dots, these bumps, will completely align with this line here. Now what you're going to do is they have this little locking piece. You just slip that in there, and that locks it into place, and those fall into those holes. Okay. So now I'm going to install the tube. So I'm going to run it under hot water for the recommendations. And what that'll do is soften it up. So I run it under hot water and I'll slide this, this on here. Like so. And then I'll add this metal piece. And this slides on that filler tube or overflow tube that you saw in there. And I'll do the same thing, heat up this end and slide it on there. So here's the overflow connector on. And once you, I would recommend that you warm it up like they say, I tried it without doing it and it was very hard to get on. I warmed it up and it slid right on. So now we're just gonna stick this back in. And that water fill line that I showed you should line up with the flush valve. This is the flush valve, this is the filler valve. Uh, the line should line up with that. And we can, we'll double check that once we put the water in. But like I said, I measured it to the previous one, so it should be correct. Included in the set is a new, basically it's a, a new nut for the bottom of the the fill valve. So this will go on underneath here, onto there. Uh, there is a bevel on here. You can see from this bevel side it needs to go up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and slide that on. It just twists on like a regular nut. And then you only want to get these hand tight anyway. Now we're going to go ahead and connect this onto the flush valve slides on there like that. You want to make sure there's no kink in it. Inside the tank is the model number. This is ST753S. So there's a chart in the instructions here. So it has a bunch of different model numbers. So what we want to do is go down and find ST753S, which is a number three gap. So here, we find that on here as well. And here's our number three, and we'll use that to set our gap. So this may be kind of hard to see, but we're gonna get the number three tab, which is this one. We're gonna set it, there's a little groove, a little slot right here on here, on this. So we're gonna set it there, and then the opening of that slot is over here. So as we turn this dial, that gap, that key, will keep it from closing any further. And this is because it's a universal fill valve, so we have to take this extra step to do that. But I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get the camera in a little closer. So you can see how it fits right in there. Now that the gap set, we're going to go ahead and reconnect this back up. And again, I need both hands to do that, so I'm going to do that off camera. 
I went ahead and tightened this up. And I got my pipe wrench and just tightened up like a quarter of a turn. Um, so now I can go ahead and turn my water on, check for leaks. And that one should be filling up now. As it's filling, we're checking that the flush valve, this tube is dumping into there. And it's also filling up. And we're going to watch the monitor when it stops. It should stop just below the flush valve, just like that. It seems to work, no pulsing. It was doing this pumping action that went on for a while after. And um, after you flushed, it was driving everyone crazy. So that's it. So that's how you replace a filler valve. And I hope it's helpful. Thank you all for watching.